In this episode, we're heading 22 miles east to Camas, Washington, then continuing the remaining 14 miles to Beacon Rock. I think that one of the next projects will be to put a uh, heat exchanger in a red dot in here. Then we'd be having heat That's off the engine. Do you know what I'm thinking? What? I'm impressed that all the colors that you're wearing match. Yeah, you know. Stop watches right twice a day, right? Get some uh, breakfast, see what they got up there. Yeah, we'll see if they have anything open. Last time we did this during COVID, they didn't have anything open. Oh, yeah, it was COVID. I think they were actually using the hotel up there to house people with COVID. Done fixing your hair back there? Yeah, it keeps blowing everywhere. Are you jealous? <laughs> Rude. <laughs> I'm hungry. Me too. Found this little uh, Mexican restaurant, I guess, up here, serving breakfast. Yeah, we did this once before. Remember, we did it in the rain, though. We walked, do you remember doing that? Yeah, that wasn't as so much fun. <laughs> did he Ubered back? <laughs> right. And even though it's a short distance, I didn't want to freaking walk on the rain. If you're not from the area, let me tell you, it rains all the time here. I say that when it's sunny right now. <laughs> That's why we're, we're out. We're so appreciative oh, yeah. of the sunshine. We just got done with... on the water. We'll pass by like some cool rock formations, which we'll slow oh, down yeah. to that. And of course there's the, the, the um, nudie beach that nobody <laughs> will probably be at. Um, and then um, Casimo Luma Falls, like kind of from the water. So yeah, cool. it's probably a little too windy today to throw the drone up and, and get a video of Luma yeah. Falls. But uh, we'll see what we can. It's a really pretty trip though. 
what is a female Bigfoot call versus a male Bigfoot? How did we ever decide the Bigfoot was male? That's a real good question. I think he just made an assumption here. Well, he doesn't say much, so he's probably male. How do you know he doesn't say much? I've never heard a recording from him. I've never That's heard him talk. That's because he's so light on his feet. You know what? And he's fast. You have not watched Harry and the Hendersons. He's clearly male. I have not watched Harry and the Hendersons. Harry and the Hendersons. But that wind just kicked up. I think it's stronger than when we were going up. After departing Camas, we continued upriver into the Columbia River Gorge. We knew it'd be a bumpy ride to Beacon Rock, but it was more than we expected. Could have pushed through the Beacon Rock. However, we know the farther we travel into the Columbia River Gorge, the worse the wind and waves will get. Since it would take several hours to get there, and we both had work the next day, we chose to retreat and head the opposite direction to St. Helens, Oregon for the Halloween Town celebration. Thankfully, after a few miles, we found calmer waters and were able to reset the cameras and enjoy a much smoother ride. You get that for Jennifer and Patrick. It's five dollars. Let's buy it. All right, done. <laughs> I love lavender. What'd you get, Jen? Uh, mussels and shrimp. I would definitely recommend this place. What's the name of the place? That's not the name of the place. <laughs> it's not cocktail specials. And what did you order? I got pork teeth. A 
that's awesome. I didn't know pork head cheeks, but I got pork cheeks. I like your cheeks. <laughs> those are the cheeks I was talking about. <laughs> Not those cheeks. I'm not going to show you the other ones. <laughs> Nestled on the Oregon side of the Columbia River, St. Helens is 85 river miles from the Pacific Ocean and is one of our favorite cruising destinations. Founded in 1845 as Plymouth by Captain Henry Montgomery Knighton, its name was changed to St. Helens only five years later due to its view of Mount St. Helens. Over the years, it's been featured in 12 movies, including Twilight and the 1998 classic Halloween Town. Every year, the entire town comes out to celebrate and shows off its Halloween Town cinematic heritage. <laughs> it's a dude stuck in an anchor. <laughs> Could you imagine pulling up a body on your anchor? <laughs> wow, that would suck. We got two days until Halloween, don't we? We do. Did you just run into that hole? I did. It hurt really bad. <laughs> I completely understand your pain. Oh my. My right leg is cramping up right now. It hurts so bad. <laughs> I feel like you've done that before. I shook the whole damn pole. Oh man, that hurt. My right thigh is killing me. <laughs> no, we did not experience a work earthquake. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> just ran into a pole. <laughs> oh, it was, a, it was a rail that went down the gangway. You did that in um, um, New Orleans, too, remember? That oh, was really yeah. funny. Yeah, Most sober super... guy there went straight to a pole. <laughs> that was rubbernecking. <laughs> oh, well. It's entertaining. It is entertaining. I'm more experienced at running into things than you, so it's not <laughs> shocking. <laughs> like, I know how to handle it. <laughs> oh, it nailed me square in the thigh. Hey, it could have been a little bit further to the left. <laughs> could have been worse. That would have sucked. <laughs> Ted's getting ready to do his favorite job. Yeah, that's what this is. I clean the toilets at home. He, he deals with the shit on the boat. I make sure it doesn't splash back on me. Right. I don't like dripping on my dock lines. There's a bunch of people up there recording the cans going off, which is super cool. But in the background, I'm pumping crap out my toilet. <laughs> Even though we enjoy this fun and peaceful little town, it's time to head back up the Columbia and Willamette Rivers to return Almond Joy to her slip.
Join us next time on Anchor Swing when things get a little crazy.